Hi, I'm Ed Scar, and today I'll be painting up the Caro Amato that I built last week. Specifically, I built the Italian model kit up as an M1441, which I think means that the real vehicle was 14 tons, and entered service in 1941. During the painting I might reference these other two vehicles, which are both 3D printed, as I will be painting my 1441 to match them in feel and closely in tone, but I do not want the painting to be identical, because that's boring. And one of those references will be almost immediate as I start painting the Caro Amato with my airbrush. I will be, of course, using my favourite technique for painting vehicles, modulation, where you highlight each module, armour panel, feature, part of the model in the middle to frame each of them with the darker base coat. In this case, I start with a dark brown over the whole thing and highlight my modulation with a light brown using the airbrush. I proved that you do not need an airbrush to use this technique when I painted my AB41, and I painted that in a modulation style with a scrappy old super glue filled brush. However, on that model, I went from the dark brown up to an ochre, and I felt that the light brown just wasn't bright enough on my Caro Amato, and so I added an extra little bit of ochre just over the top to bring it, again, closer to the AB41, but just to brighten it a bit. Now I can put the airbrush away and get some decals down, and I've been argued out for calling them decals, apparently it's decals, whatever. I mentioned in the last video that the decals aren't marked, and so I had to look up some historical pictures of the tank to try and work out, maybe not a perfect historical layout, but at least a halfway believable, if you don't look too close it's fine layout, which is fine by me. I also mentioned in my last video a little discussion I had with myself about the track guards, and that resulted in me not having them separate, as I usually do, as a sub-assembly for easy painting. And as you can see here, it is slightly fiddly to feed a paintbrush in with the nice dark gunmetal paint that I got at Warlord Games Open Day recently. Really though this isn't an issue, it's just a little bit fiddly. And whilst I had the gunmetal out, I stippled a tiny bit of it over random spots of the tank, not too heavy as I didn't want this to be a very worn out looking tank. I picked out a few other details as well, like the tools, the MG barrels, and then I brought out a dark red mixed with some brown to keep it nice and dull for the exhaust, which is a fun splash of colour that I think I will try to keep consistent on my Italian vehicles. I also painted all of the rubber with a charcoal black, the road wheels and return rollers, and did I forget the spare road wheels? Did I? Did I remember to come back later to fill those in? We'll never know. And also with the black and some of the other colours, I also just stippled it around the tank in random spots, just to add a little variety. You might notice that the anti-air machine gun has gone missing from the turret, and there is a reason for that. This is my 3D printed Auto Protecto. Protecto? Protecto? Armoured Carrier. And I airbrushed that alongside the Caramata, so all of the painting pretty much matches, but this didn't have the machine gun option when I printed it, and so I stole it from the M14. When I painted it, however, I used my brown wash instead of the black wash that I make up, and the black wash is the one I used on the AB41. I really didn't like it very much, and so I put the black wash over the top of that, and it ends up with this quite dark but very rich look. It's certainly a technique that I shall keep in mind, but it reminded me that that's not what I want for my Caro Amato. As I mix my own water-based washes, I can vary how much water I use to make it quite heavy or slightly thinner on different parts of the same model, and that means that when it dries I'll have even more variation in colour and value and tone over the whole model. And if I'm honest, I didn't even wait for it to fully dry before I got stuck into my favourite part of painting vehicles, edge highlighting. I find this 
really relaxing to sit and slowly pick out each edge, each line, and just how it makes the shape of the model really stand out. The armor panels, the hatches, the gun ports, it just makes it look cool. And after that, I wasn't worried about making the tank's commander look cool. A quick dry brush and a dark wash got the uniform sorted. As most of that will be hidden by the hatch, it doesn't really need much work. Painting the skin got a little more effort, but I've pretty much accepted at this point that I am bad at painting skin. I need to work out some practice with skin tones so that I can actually improve. With the commander painted, poorly but done, the whole vehicle is now complete. One Kara Amato M14-41 by Italeri and Warlord Games. I really like how this combination of techniques creates a deep, dark looking brown without it being very flat and uninteresting, which is how I have painted vehicles in the past. And it goes very nicely with the Auto Blindo and Auto Protetto, even though these three are painted in slightly different ways. The tracks are, if I admit, a tiny bit crooked, and the painting is a very simplistic process, but for wargaming, it's spot on. I mentioned in my previous video that the Semivente parts, the included extra bits to build the tank up as a self propelled gun instead of the M14 light tank that I built. And I said I'd get round to painting it, and I have. The casement is on a little mound of polystyrene packaging at the moment until I figure out how to base my Italians, and I'll kind of carry that theme over to this model. But as an armoured pillbox, it does look pretty cool, and all of the internals being visible, if I can get a decent camera angle I'll try and show them off. And of course there's the spare crew member who has become an artillery observer or officer's assistant in my platoon. Overall my whole Italian project is coming along very nicely, and the Caro Amato 1441 by Italeri is a good centrepiece for my vehicles. I'm Edgar, always will be, and thank you very much for watching.